Hey, this is Václav and in this video I will show you the clock channel of the Neo Trinity, how you can sync to different clock sources, sync your LFOs, reset sequences and so on. The clock channel controls Neo Trinity's tempo or the clock. To select it I press the clock button, I can press it again to deselect it or I can press any of the other channels to select them instead. When I'm on the clock channel, the rate knob controls the BPM or I can also tap the tempo by holding REC and pressing SHIFT. So now the clock itself is four times faster than what I was tapping, assuming I was tapping quarter notes and the clock itself is sixteenth notes. When I'm on the clock channel, I can press the mode button to stop the clock and press it again to restart it. So this was the internal clock mode. To switch to an external clock, I simply connect another clock source into the clock input and the Neo Trinity will automatically synchronize to that. In the external clock mode, I can change the divider or multiplier by holding shift and pressing one of the channel buttons. On A there is 8 times divider, on B there is 4 times divider, C is 2 times divider and D is no divider, it's one to one, the clocks are the same speed. So this expects the 16th note clock. E is two times multiplier, so if your clock is very slow and you want to run faster, that's useful for that. And F is four times multiplier, and that could be used for, let's say, multiplying the cork Volca clock. I can also use some odd dividers, and I can do it by holding shift and pressing clock as a plus, that's, that is the silver plus, and mute as a minus. So I can go to 6 divider in between C and B, so they both light up. And I can also go to 3 times multiplier when E and F are both lit up. I can also turn the rate knob to select the dividers, and I can select also the 3 and so on, and the LEDs show me momentarily on which divider I am. I can also tap in what I think the clock should be and the module will select the divider for me. When I'm on the clock channel I can press the mode button to stop or press start to restart it or to realign it. You can see that the LED here at the clock it blinks at the beginning of the sequence and if I'm on a channel, let's say B, it blinks at the beginning of the automation sequence. So this can help you with realigning your channels. And you could have noticed that the Neo Trinity does a bit of realignment for you. So if I'm changing through the dividers and I have some of the odd ones in play, it would realign again as if the original clock was always there and I would never change the dividers. The reset input is here to reset the automation sequences. So if you have a, another sequencer, very often they have a reset output. So that way they always align. On every channel I can select whether the channel listens to the reset input by holding shift and pressing mute. I'll also turn it on on channel B. And now when I plug some more creative signal, it will alternate my rhythm as well. So let's say now I have a LFO on channel C, controlling the filter, and I would like to synchronize it to the clock. So I select channel C, press shift and press the clock to enable the sync. And now the rate knob, selects the divider of the LFO.
So this was all about the clock and sinking of the Neo Trinity and I'll see you in the next video.